<laughs> Hi, everybody. That was just scary as hell, wasn't it? Okay. So, uh, by the way, welcome to the 100th show. By the way, I don't know if you all know this. I have written 430 pages of jokes for this show. Wow. Uh, mm -hmm. And on page 126, that's that had the funny one. On page 126, <laughs> and Tom, you might be the first headliner. We have, we have yet to have one headliner leave because of my jokes. Uh, you could be the first. So, and there's been a lot of changes in the world since we started. I don't know if you all realize this, but when we started this, 90 plus percent of all the jokes were COVID. Everything we talked about was COVID. Uh, and matter of fact, so here's a joke that I did in one of the first two weeks of the show. Are you ready? Here it is. Joke from two years ago. Police in Savannah screen. are using it on that screen and it wouldn't work this way. Hang on a second. Good. Uh, mute you. your mother again there, Steve. When you guys talk, you're getting in the way of the right. joke. Oops, Especially because this joke is incredible. Here we go. Police okay. in Savannah are using drones to enforce social distancing, which is in direct opposition to what they are mostly used for, creepy ogling. <laughs> <laughs> Am I writing any better? No, that's, that's the concept. <laughs> By the way, luckily the jokes kind of got better uh, because uh, now you all may know this. I don't know about uh, Tom. He probably doesn't know this, but we're a pretty left-wing show. How many people know that? Know. Uh, and that but pretty early. Pretty early. Every once in a while, though, I have done kind of an equal opportunity joke. So here's a joke I did in the spring of 2020. <laughs> California is canceling the Democratic presidential primary. Do you remember when that happened? Many think it's COVID-related, but really the governor thinks people only have one vote for Joe Biden in them, and they don't want them to waste it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Equal opportunity. Now, uh, Steve's favorite jokes that I've done have always been about animals. Did you know that? That's absolutely true. He loves the animal jokes. But I've done jokes about local politics, too. This joke <laughs> still makes me laugh. It's one of the, my favorite jokes I've ever written. Here it is. Uh, this is from about uh, nine months ago, I think. And you'll, I think some of you remember this joke. The Manhattan District Attorney... Cyrus Vance Jr. said, they will no longer prosecute prostitution or unlicensed massage in New York City. He ended his statement by saying, see you at six, Candy. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite, one of my favorite jokes I've ever written. And I think that I can make that work in the club. So now, now I have written uh, less new jokes. Let's all applaud for the fact that I won't be doing 13 jokes. I'll only be doing about seven or eight. So now the first one, though, as a comedian, and Tom, I'm going to ask you a question in a second. I don't know about the other comics, but Will Smith, his slapping caused acid flashbacks when he hit Chris Rock for me. Here's a short list of the violence that I've seen in my career. I have been rushed on stage where a man tried to hit me with a glass over his head. I had an audience member throw a condom and cut my eye with the condom wrapper, the foil. I had an audience member, okay, I had a man pull a gun on me, and uh, luckily the manager's gun was faster. He went like this, pulled it out, and the manager's gun was faster. And the most traumatic I ever had was a woman flashed her privates at me with no underwear on. Wow. That was Ow. so traumatic, I woke up for years screaming, I hate you, Larry Flint! <laughs> so, so quickly tom yes. could you give us your quick what was the worst violent kind of thing that's happened to you on stage first of all i'm surprised that you got cut by a condom wrapper on your eye because that would make it cockeyed hello tom cotter up here oh, yeah. of all uh, my uh my wife enjoyed your show and that's why she uh she showed you uh, anyway, now, um, I was twice, I have been walked to my car by bouncers because guys wanted to kill me in the audience. Mm -hmm. Twice, not once, but twice. And then I also did a sports bar once that was shaped like a boxing ring. It had ropes like a boxing ring on three sides, and then the back was the wall, and they painted the ropes on there. And a guy tried to get over the ropes to kill me. Uh, several times before the bouncers subdued him. So yeah, I've, I've had that experience as well. Yeah, many, many times. And I've, and I've got 25 more like that. Matter of fact, uh, I've got a book called Hell Gig you can buy and you can, mm -hmm. uh, and you can read all about my stories. So, uh, but, but your wife, your wife was way too young to have been there. So anyway, but uh, so 
Hey, okay. Well, let's talk about something else because that makes me sad. So here we go. Uh, <laughs> next question. Next question. Okay, I'm drunk. Next joke. <laughs> here we go. Walmart is getting rid of cigarettes, everybody. Who knows hey. that? Oh. Yep, yep. Her yes. death. First the Confederate flag at NASCAR, and now this, said a million rednecks. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? They want to know. A minimum of teeth and no-go Brandon hats? I wasn't that proud of that one. By the way, the big news from the January 6th committee is that there are, what, seven-plus hours missing of Trump's tapes during insurrections? Did you see that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yep. That sounds sketchy, said the ghost of Richard Nixon. <laughs> <laughs> now, luckily, I don't know if you know this, but I actually have a transcript of some of those calls. So here <laughs> are four bits of those calls that Trump was making during that time. Cut number one, it started with a slurp of a Diet Coke, and then Trump said, Tell Junior to stop doing coke. We haven't stopped it yet. So he wanted to stop him doing the coke. Cut number two, while he was chewing a Big Mac, tell Ivanka to wear that low cut number for my re-presidenting. Okay. I didn't say that the things Trump did were funny. I just said these were them. Cut number three, after another Diet Coke slurp, Trump said, is Pence dead yet? <laughs> and then the fourth one probably not as funny as all these have been uh, Trump said ah I need a couple of more of these fire phone things fire phone <laughs> I've heard of a burner phone okay I could have I worked harder on those okay <laughs> by the way Patty did you see this? A toy maker. Oh, Liz and Kevin, you're from Chicago. A toy maker in Chicago donated $145,000 to Ukrainian refugee relief by selling Lego pieces. One was a President Zelensky, right? And the other was a Lego Molotov cocktail with the Ukrainian <laughs> flag on it. Did you guys see that? <laughs> yeah, I did. I saw it. Sold, sold out in a second. And by the way, if they really want to end the four fat floor, if they really want to end the war fast, all they have to do is spread those Legos around the carpet and uh, Vladimir Putin's bed. <laughs> ow, ow, war's over. Okay, great. Because he'll step on. Okay. Well, the jokes from the past have been better. Here we go. <laughs> Putin signed an order to draft 134,000 more conscripts into the military in Russia. Did you see that? Because he's winning the war, everybody. That's why. Uh, Putin said it has nothing to do with being humiliated in Ukraine, and he will not send the troops there. These <laughs> troops are all about Hunter Biden. <laughs> They're going to hand that laptop person to person across the sea. Okay. <laughs> Luckily, I've only got three or four more. So, <laughs> Tom, is this now the worst violence you've had in the show? No. A new study. A new study proves that ivermectin does not prevent COVID-19 hospitalizations. Yep. So stop taking it, everyone, said horse worms. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I could have done better. Okay. Yep. By the way, the CDC has finally lifted its advisory warning for cruisers on cruise ships. Uh, two years ago, they told people not to cruise under any circumstances. And now I guess they said, go ahead and die. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I leave for a ship tomorrow and it is the safest, <laughs> safest way to travel and a great vacation. The only thing you really have to worry about on a ship is when you get in the hot tub and it gets a little warmer when the kids get in. Oh. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Okay. Guess what? I'm just going to do one more and then we're going to have the show because this is a seven hour show, folks. Get ready. <laughs> Steve's got 72 songs and 55 more intros to do. Mm -hmm. so here it is. The last one. Get excited. The FCC has received more than 66 complaints about the Will Smith slap on the Oscars 
and the screaming of obscenities during that time. Many are calling for Smith and the Oscars to be fined. Uh, this is the most horrible thing ever on network television and should be the only thing ever talked about again, said Janet Jackson. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, nice. ladies and gentlemen, this is the virtual comedy show. Steve's going to bring himself in. Hi.